What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Um, as you guys know from the first one, uh, Kith and LeBron collaboration. I'm not like the biggest fan just because it's performance stuff. The lifestyle doesn't suit my lifestyle per se, but this is part two of that collection and there are quite a few things that dropped with it as far as clothing. So you have a, um, a couple different tonal effects. The triple white lifestyle shoe was LA exclusive. So, um, I mean, I only have one shoe to review here, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up. So basically, uh, as the clothing goes, you had a triple white hoodie with the Kith branding. You had a white hoodie with the um, gold Kith branding, a triple black Kith hoodie with uh, no, what the Kith branding and a black with the gold trim in the hoodie as well. Uh, basically, mirrored that in shorts and then the sneakers went to match that and there were also basketballs the price point was a little extensive uh this is exactly just the performance shoe with the gold branding i think that was the most sought after tone was looking for it and because i wasn't getting a pair for myself i decided to help tone out and uh this is the review so they'll you'll, you'll probably see on foots on his page or whatever it is 255 so they were 255 dollars uh, US dollar retail, uh, kind of pricey, but let's just get into the box real quick. So, um, box is kind of big, so I'll move it around so you guys can get an idea of what's going on here. But, uh, rather large box, they are 11 and a half, like I mentioned there for tone. A uh, little kit branding on the upper portion of the box here with the uh, crown for the king on LeBron. Uh, get a little focus in there, size 11.5, LeBron 15 performance, white, white, multicolor. Uh, let's get into it. So if you guys caught the first review of the uh, part one of the shoe release or the sneaker release, uh, they came with a little booklet so you can see the different variations. This thing doesn't differ, same deal. If you guys want more details on that, you could watch that video as far as how the lacing works out. But you got a couple of extras in here as well. A white rope lace with a gold bezel. <laughs> uh, gold going through it and it looks like a metal aglet. I wanna say metal, it feels like metal. So metal aglets in gold. Uh, on the white and gold pair and then you have a it feels very Christmassy to me like the entire aesthetic of the shoe feels very uh, holiday inspired but white red and gold bezels <laughs> on the other pair of laces and uh, again gold agalets we'll get those out of the way a basic white pair on the inside of the shoe that comes standard I'm just gonna move around a little bit so you guys can see the branding across here but uh, the embroidery is really what stands out about the shoe itself even though it's not like my particular favorite uh, model or shoe uh, basically the uh, the embroidery really caught my eye it's a lot of detailing and it is embroidered on a sneaker so you got to figure like this whole thing gets laid out and then it gets embroidered and then they have to you know size it up correctly to match the midsole and it, it's it's definitely a lot of work so I can see the price point for 255 uh, I don't know if I agree with the 255 but it is what it is like I can understand uh, a price increase but Either way, it's very well orchestrated. Uh, either way, show you guys some of the detail in the video here. Very, very fire. K I T H. Um, it's it's definitely different. Uh, LeBron for the um, insignia here. You got some flowers. You got some green vine work. Uh, the gold makes it very exquisite and elegant feeling. Uh, same deal down the center here. You got your uh, re re zipper, uh, as they mentioned in the blog. Open it up a little bit, and then it's all leather embossed down the center portion of it as well kith and uh long live the king as the other shoe i'm not going to get into too much detail because it's just like the other one if you guys want to catch that review you can uh same thing for the crown and kith across the pull tab and leather here uh, i don't know where the velcro straps are i'm, I'm uh, curious about that because i don't see any in here uh like i said it was probably just a misprint on the vlog or blog itself uh i believe they were probably talking about the um the lifestyle version because those are velcro straps and i do not have one of those here so it'll just be the performance 15 review uh outsole same thing uh it looks just like the lifestyle the lifestyle velcro straps goes through this or is supported by this little centerpiece here uh it looks like it's very flexible uh very good for gaming if, if that's what you're doing or you're playing ball whatever you can't see it too well here but you have the kith and the uh the lion's head in the uh, heel portion of the outsole here as well um you have a matted out air bubble so there is an air bubble here it's just covered in the white paint which is very it, it, it gives it a different effect which is pretty dope as well uh lebron stamped right down in here very clean and uh just uh, the battle knit upper which is it, it seems very durable uh, i feel like it would be a very good sneaker to wear if it was your particular liking but either way very clean 
Uh, I think that is it for the shoe. Anyway, like I said, there will not be an on-foot review. I don't know about sizing, so I can't help you with that. Um, if you wanna hit up Tone, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to give you more insightful thoughts on that. I think he actually uh, has the rose gold pair as well, the one I first reviewed. So I would definitely look into hitting him up if you want sizing options. But other than that, I'm getting out of here. If you guys aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section. And uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. Peace.